Hey Kipsters, Miss Johnson here again with another math problem of the day. Today, our focus is going to be geometry. So we're going to be thinking about shapes and the characteristics that shapes have. As we get ready to take a look at our problem, we're going to start by reviewing some of those key characteristics that shapes have to help with our problem. Today our focus is on geometry, and we're going to be classifying quadrilaterals, which are polygons with four sides. Within the quadrilateral family, we also have different shapes, like the parallelogram, which is when we have a four-sided quadrilateral with two sets of parallel lines. We have a rectangle, which has two sets of parallel lines and four right angles. We have a rhombus that will have two sets of parallel lines and four equal sides. You then have a square, which is going to have two sets of parallel lines, four right angles, and four equivalent sides. We then also can have a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a four-sided quadrilateral that has only one set of parallel lines. Now, there's other quadrilaterals that we can think about, but those are going to be the main ones that we focus on today. Now remember, it's also important that we understand that quadrilaterals can have multiple classifications. For example, a rectangle is a rectangle because it has four right angles, but it is also a parallelogram because it has two sets of parallel sides. A square is a quadrilateral, a parallelogram for two sets of parallel sides, a rhombus for having all equal sides, and a rectangle because it has four right angles. So there can be multiple classifications for each quadrilateral. Now let's take a look at problems one and two. Number one says, which names a polygon that has only one pair of parallel sides? A, quadrilateral, B, trapezoid, C, rhombus, or D, square. Number two reads, which is not a name for this shape? A, square, B, polygon, C, quadrilateral, D, parallelogram. As you begin trying to answer these questions, go back to the flowchart if you need to remind yourself of the characteristics. Now let's take a look at number three. Number three says, identify the shapes below that are parallelograms and explain how you know. Make sure when you put your answer in the comments that you explain how you know they are parallelograms. We're about to go on to the answers, so make sure that you've put your answer in the comments and you pause the video and go back to answer those questions if you're not ready to see your answers. For number one, our answer is B, trapezoid. This is our answer because a trapezoid is a quadrilateral or polygon that only has one set of parallel sides. For number two, our answer is square. This shape is not a square because we do not have four right angles and four equal sides. Number three, the shapes that are parallelograms are A, B, C, and E. These are parallelograms because each one of these shapes has two sets of parallel sides. When we have a set of parallel sides, that means that those sides will never meet if they are extended forever. Thanks for watching our videos this week, Kipsters. I hope you enjoy the long weekend. No videos on Friday, but we'll bring some more to you next week starting on Monday.